Hello, good morning. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Tuesday, the 26th of July, 2016. Be sure to visit tradesignal.com. Signals and market updates from leading providers, www.tradesignal.com, and you can download the app via the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, in terms of uh, European markets uh, this morning, we certainly are taking our cue from uh, the Asian session. The Asian session is certainly uh, mixed. We had the Nikkei down overnight, down minus 1.4%, at the back of a surging yen, as the uh, potential uh, stimulus isn't as expected or is nowhere near as expected. Okay, so um, so we certainly, um, certainly are seeing a potential risk-off scenario from there. Uh, Hang Seng and the Shanghai certainly finished positive. So again... <clears throat> Uh, mixed message uh, from the uh, Asian markets altogether. In terms of uh, the uh, fundamentals this morning, we've had a potential terrorist incident in France, which again is indicating risk aversion. Okay, we've had earnings from BP certainly on the weaker side. Therefore, uh, the uh, the actual profit uh, for BP tumbles by 45% on the back of obviously weaker oil, and again that certainly is having a negative factor. We certainly are. Uh, Carrying on from yesterday's mixed data as well, the UK data certainly weak yesterday, manufacturing, whereas the German IFO data certainly stronger than expected. Overnight, we've had Gilead and Texas certainly coming in stronger. Uh, again, Shanghai, Hang Seng, we've had the potential AB InBev uh, yeah, takeover come back stronger. And uh, again, like I said, I think the theme this morning really is the fact that uh, we have uh, concerns with regards to the banking sector again, with uh, Monte de Pache that limit down again and halted. We have um, concerns with regards to a lack of QE via the BOJ. So again, that certainly is going to be hanging over the market as well. So overall, net net, bias remains bearish, okay? Uh, obviously, with oil prices now hitting a pivot low of $42 as well, if I bring up a chart of oil for you folks, you'll see that the oil price now obviously uh, is certainly... Um, and a potential free fall. The next real ideal support zone is seen at $41, so potentially gap fill below at $40 so, or $39. So again, it certainly is remaining bearish for oil, and therefore it will be remaining bearish for equities in general, and uh, obviously uh, uh, risk currencies as well, such as the Aussie and Kiwi. My current active traders, I'm short the FTSE, short the Euro stocks, especially on the back of those terrorist-related uh, uh, news story in regards to France, uh, potential hostages in the church, Again, indicating risk aversion. Okay, let's see exactly where the markets are positioned from a uh, technical perspective. Daily chart, uh, again, you're into that gap fill resistance on the German DAX, therefore indicating uh, a move lower. Okay, so certainly looking bearish. 60-minute chart, at the moment, the German DAX still making a lower high. This was something that I did uh, say that it certainly is possible, uh, a potential scenario here uh, of a HNS formation. So you have a left shoulder. You've got your head, okay, and we're making a right shoulder right now, and then obviously looking to move lower. So you have terrorist-related concerns. You have yen uh, obviously surging as well in the back of lack of QE. The whole market has gone up based on the BOJ QE, and that certainly isn't going to materialize now. And there are doubts with regards to Mr. Arby or Mr. Kuroda's ability to uh, to enforce that as well. So again, looking for a HNS formation. So watch out for that right shoulder in the German DAX. The 10 minute chart, you can see the German DAX holding previous resist support equals resistance and therefore indicating a move lower. So again, we are into resistance. So the German DAX, which is the uh, leader in Europe, indicating weakness. Okay, the French CAC, let's have a look at this. There was a HNS formation, certainly has uh, basically neutralized, not really played out at all. Okay, so we are adhering to this diagonal trend line, 200 MA. Okay, you have the Fib high to low, take the Fib high, take it to low, you're into that Fib 75% resistance on the 10 minute chart. So the CAC certainly is in, 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 in a lot of trouble, okay, from my perspective. Okay, so again, you have the HNS formation. So it's not a coincidence that this HNS formation keeps rearing its head, folks, okay? So on the back of yen strength and back of stronger German data yesterday indicating lack of QE, uh, euro potentially rallying, everything from my perspective, especially we've got unfilled gap below, Definitely expecting a HNS formation. That's my understanding. Okay, 10 minute chart at the moment. We certainly are pushing higher, but again, we're coming into resistance now, so therefore indicating weakness. Okay, in terms of the market itself. So, certainly looking weak. Okay, now let's move on to the FTSE 100, folks. Okay, so FTSE 100 
Let's go to the daily chart first of all. Again, we're holding that doji candle from yesterday, topping tail the day before. Uh, 60 minute chart, we're holding the pivot high, looking for a potential top here now at this 6740 zone, okay, on the FTSE 100, so looking for weakness. The 10 minute chart, we certainly seem to be oscillating here. HNS certainly has been negated. Okay, so let's just go back to here. We're into resistance here, here, and here. Okay, so these are the zones that we're looking for weakness, looking for resistance, and then we're looking for gap fill below. So again, looking for gap fill on the back of weaker earnings from BP, and the gap certainly remains at 6705. So again, watch out for that potential gap fill in terms of the FTSE 100. So certainly looking to move lower. Okay, let's bring up the euro stocks for you. Okay, here we go. Euro stocks again, same formation, HS formation. Okay, inside bar at the moment. 10 minute chart again uh, has held that 75% resistance and looking to move lower. So basically, overall, net net, the bias is bearish and we're looking for lower prices. Okay, again, be sure to visit tradeziggler.com. and download the latest app from the Google Play and the Apple App Store. And that's a wrap for the morning. Goodbye now, folks.